So hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video we will be actually looking at some more Temu products. Hmm, interesting. I actually ordered um, uh, earlier. I ordered a um, headlamp, or well, it was a headlamp, basically a LED strip you put around your head. I also had a spotlight on the side, uh, which cost about three bucks, uh, and that actually worked worked surprisingly well for what it was. Um, I have that in my garage right now. It's decent no there's no no powerhouse or anything like that but uh, just for having on your head with disassembling things in your car and stuff like that it works very nice actually uh, also got two work lamps with a flippable like LED like the sticks with the magnet in the bottom uh, and um, the the main light on the side of the stick uh, actually pretty decent no not no no light record or anything like that but uh, does the job but the one on the end, the small one that you like point and put in these small crevices and stuff like that, that was uh, very weak and uh, not really that usable. So I ordered two more because tell me, you know, that's how it is. Um, and they were cheap, these ones, well, around three bucks as well. And um, uh, they, they um, I don't know what kind of model they use when they take the pictures in the in the videos, but. Uh, the products look very big and uh, very big and very promising and I was like hmm maybe this is actually a big and promising product well promising or big I don't know maybe promising I don't know let's check out uh, the smallest package I got in the mail I was super surprised when I was opening my mailbox and like where is the package and then I have to really lean over to look in there and there it was tiny tiny plastic bag so this is the first one high power headlamp Hmm. Yeah, I ordered another one. This is, I believe, is one of a projector type. Uh, oh, look at that. We got another charging cable, but this time, why is it charging with micro USB? That is disappointing. The other, the other three I bought was the USB Type C. Well, I don't know what that is. Probably the lens. That looks weird. And the band itself, and uh, that's, that's kind of this. Okay, so that's that kind of a design. All right, all right. Uh, so LED headlamp even says it on it. That's impressive, right? So uh, let's see if we can do this. Uh, not really a great finish on these plastic parts here. Uh, but I mean, what can you expect? buying such so cheap items <laughs> uh, so let's see here this now oh, this one slipped in, it slipped in a lot a lot easier there you go and uh, yeah rotate it it is is that a magnet do you have something magnetic here oh it is actually nice okay not very really strong though and render here is I believe the power button and the charging port under that flap. So I believe you can just push this. Yep. And well, to be honest, it's absolutely fine. No, no life record or something like that. Let me turn down the brightness on this uh, camera light here. Come on. I mean, let me turn it all the way off. This camera light here. Yeah, I mean it's completely. F yeah, it is blinding, uh, and it does light up surprisingly well. Let's see here, and that's the spotlight. And uh, you know what? Just in this dark room, like in the emergency situation, this works just fine. Um, it is, as I said, no no light, no light record setting record thingy, but. Uh, it does. It does the job. Uh, I'll tell you that much. It, will, it does actually do the job. So, um, ooh, white balance. There you go. Sorry, the, I'm, I stacked my camera on top of like uh, what is that? Like 15 hard drives because um, I have forgot my tripod uh, in my garage. So I just uh, I have went through some hard drives and I left them up here, and uh, now they're well serving as a tripod. So that's nice. Okay, for the price, uh, bummer that this is charging with the USB micro USB. 
So let's look at this thing. This thing in the pictures looks really, really big. This is not very big. Uh, USB charge flashlight. You can see here. Ooh, USB charge flashlight. Uh, lithium ba batter. <laughs> yeah, nice. That's a lithium batter for you right there. Uh, OSL plus COB, at least that's a LED technology there. Uh, bringing about high brightness with a single S, so that's nice. Charging functio. <laughs> oh yes, charging functio right there. Temu strikes again. Well, charging with, oh, really Temu? Come on, micro USB? Well, not really Temu, but uh, whatever, whoever makes this. Wow, <laughs> this thing weighs absolutely nothing. Is it magnetic in any way though? Nope. Charging in the kit, charging port on the side, a little behind the little rubber flap. Four spots in the front. Basically, actually looks like a, a direct copy of this thing. There's just this has four of them. And it has the side spot. Which is by the looks of it weaker than the one on the headlamp because the headlamp you can see in the spot there there's a there's uh, some spots where the LED actually sits on this there are a lot fewer of them do I dare turn it on oh wow this thing don't buy it this is weak the headlamp is actually more powerful than this Yeah, that's uh, that's the power of that light. Let's see here. I can turn off the uh, camera light here. I mean, it has a nice concentrated light pattern, but uh, but for the size, this is absolutely terrible. Can you flash? And side light, which I as I said, this is actually weaker than this uh, headlamp here. So let's see here. This is the headlamp. And this is the you can actually see the camera the difference here. Headlamp, this one. Yeah, I can actually see the big difference. Let's uh, check out the comparison with the spots though. That's the spot on headlamp. That's the spot on the handheld one. And there is a noticeable difference. I believe you can set the light inside that one and you can still see that it actually is brighter. Yeah. That is not impressive at all. Let's go over here. I'm not on that wall there. This is the headlamp. And this is the handheld one. I don't know if the camera does justice, but uh, the headlamp is more impressive than. Uh, this handheld one. Uh, this is simply weak. Uh oh, it is actually low charge though. So maybe it needs a charge. Really doubt that. That is actually that's the issue. Uh, this uh, headlamp one does not have a charging indicator, unfortunately. Uh, but I mean, I mean, it's fine, you know. And you can, by the looks of it, yeah, you can slip out the headlamp bit. And probably stuff it on something magnetic here. There you go. And uh, uses kind of a work light or something like that. I can't really see it on, on the video, but it does the job. Yeah. My PC, my front panel of the case is the mesh, so it doesn't really stick really well to that, but uh, it does stick. And uh, overall, this thing, for the price, $3. I could recommend this. If you really just needed a small, compact one with a rechargeable battery, that's car, car probably going to catch on fire when you have it on your head. Uh, I can recommend this. This is actually not too bad. Um, but that uh, big uh, handheld one here, with the... I don't know. This is actually more heavy than this is. I mean, this... 
Does it have screws? Yeah, it does have screws. Do I have a screwdriver that's thin enough to go into those holes? Oh man, if I really had that, I would really disassemble it right now and uh, show you what's inside this thing. But uh, it seems like uh, I don't have a screwdriver that kind. One of the screws are even stripped. Can't really see that, can you? But there's a screw in there that the head on it is stripped. Well, partly, not all the way, but uh, somebody has worked with their fist in here and uh, tightened them and slipped and slipped and slipped a bit more. Or the screw is just a sort of poor quality. Wow, look at it. It even has uh, screws on the front here. Um, oh man, I re really wish I had a screwdriver right now. But I don't know where they are. Hmm. But, anyways, I'm going to actually throw this uh, big white one here on the charger if I dare. And uh, hopefully nothing explodes. And uh, see if we can increase the performance of it. But I really doubt it. If it does take charge and it actually does increase in performance, then another issue is probably battery performance. It will st probably stay late for half an hour, and that's maximum. So, uh, I'm gonna throw this on some kind of a charger right here. Oh, it has a charging indicator. There you go. Leave that right there. And, uh, does this thing have a charging indicator? Well, it does have a light on the side, by the looks of it. Uh, let's see here. Do I have more free USB ports here? Well, I can make it. Yeah, it does have a flashing red light charging indicator. Can you see that? Yeah, I can see that. So, interesting. Headlamp? Okay. That handheld one, don't buy it. Find something else. And if you really need a headlamp that's powerful, probably do not buy it from Temu. <laughs> um, you're probably spending a lot of money if you're buying it from Temu and you're actually getting a good one. Uh, and with that money, you can probably spend it in a local store. Uh, not really recommended to buy something like that from Temu. Um, I buy just the cheapest, absolute cheapest products I can find, uh, just for funds, you know. Um, and this is what I got. <laughs> Headlamp is okay, but the uh, handheld one is absolute dog crap. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, make sure you buy something you actually. Well, if you're starting, if you're going to buy stuff from Temu, expect to be disappointed, I guess. Or don't set any ex expectations. Just be neutral. Remember what you paid for that product. It's probably just going to perform like the price you paid for it. Or in some cases, it's pretty niche products. For example, my headlamp, which is a rubber, which is a band you put on the head with a LED strip on it, or actually, actually had three LED strips on it. And that was actually quite completely fine. And I have used it all quite a lot in the garage already. And uh, that has been a very, actually, a very good uh, product. Uh, because it diffuses the light a lot. It has a, it has no spot. It's more of a diffuser, so it's a little more less straining for the eyes when you just have one spot to look at. It actually lights up the whole area uh, you're working on. Um, so uh, wow, the uh, the handheld one is already on the uh, second indicator. Uh, it's actually on the fifty percent indicator now for charging. So wow, that's charging really fast. Is it quick charge? Hmm. Or is just a battery just this big? And it takes 15 minutes to recharge the whole battery. <laughs> hmm. Yep. Um, don't set, set any expectations on te Temu, and you probably get a product that you can probably use for something. I don't know. And uh, probably not be that disappointing. Disappointed. Uh, I will say I, can, I will use both products, uh, but the head, that uh, handheld one, I will probably replace that in the future with something a lot more compact that performs a lot better and the prob preferably something with USB Type-C because micro USB is such an outdated thing by now so yeah thanks for watching guys and uh, see you guys in another video